and direct from the most liberal city in America, New York. It's common sense conservative commentary from Todd Starnes. I am Todd Starnes. Welcome to the program. So glad you decided to hang out with us on the radio. Crank up that volume. We're going to have a good time this hour. The number to call in if you'd like to weigh in on some of the topics we are discussing is 888-788-9910. That's 888-788-9910. ToddStarnes.com is our website. And we are posting uh, questions on Facebook and Twitter. If, if you want to link to, if you want to get links to all of those uh, social networking pages, you can do that at ToddStarnes.com. By the way, um, one of the uh, nice things my publisher is doing, uh, you know, I have a, a new book uh, out. It's been out for a few months now, so I guess it's really not all that new. It's called The Deplorable's Guide to Making America Great Again. And this is a, a handbook for all of us deplorable Americans to, uh, to reclaim and restore traditional American values in our neighborhoods and in our homes. And I explain how to do that in uh, in my book. And you can get a copy of that. As a matter of fact, I will sign it. I will autograph it. Uh, Producer Christine, I will do that free of charge. It's uh, we'll put, the, put the old John, John Hancock there. Well, what a nice guy you are. Well, you know, I try to be. So. Deplorable, but still a nice guy. Uh, so anyway, if you'd like an autographed copy of the book, just, again, go to ToddStarnes.com. Click on the store, and uh, you'll be able to get information about the book. So um, a lot of people say, Todd, how do you get all these crazy stories you write about? Well, to be honest, most of them come from you guys. And uh, the other day, I received four or five email messages about this story we are about to talk about. And it's going to blow your mind. It's unbelievable. It's unbelievable. Teen Vogue. Have you heard about Teen Vogue? I'm a field and stream kind of guy, so I don't read the Teen Vogue. But uh, apparently Teen Vogue, which is uh, published for young girls uh, between the ages of 12 and 17, they published a tutorial regarding a graphic sex act. Now, I have to tell you, before we go any further, that the content and the sex act is so outrageous and egregious, I am not even allowed to mention the words on the radio. So let's just say that what we're talking about, in the 1990s, it led to a presidential impeachment. You can sort of figure it out. But let's be perfectly blunt here. Teen Vogue was not only condoning, but showing children how to engage in outright sodomy. Now, I had a chance to read this thing, and we actually have posted some of the content from Teen Vogue over on the website, toddstarns.com. So you can see for yourself. It's very clear to me upon reading this material that Teen Vogue wants to turn your child into a sexual deviant. And it should disgust and alarm every parent and grandparent across the fruited plain. It should. And we'll get to some of that in just a few moments. A lot of moms and dads have already launched protest. There's a hashtag that's... uh, That's trending called Pull Teen Vogue. Hashtag Pull Teen Vogue. And Elizabeth Johnston, known as the activist mommy, she's got a couple of hundred thousand followers on her Facebook page. And she decided to um, express her displeasure at what the, um, the folks there at Teen Vogue did. Now, we have edited this, again, edited this for content. Uh, so I want you to listen to what uh, the activist mommy had to say on 
a video that has uh, that has gone viral. I cannot believe what this Teen of Vogue piece of trash mm -hmm. has printed mm -hmm. in its June edition. They are teaching children. 11 through 17, that's the target audience of this magazine, Teen Vogue. Children 11 through 17, how to be safely sodomized. We should not be teaching children, period, how to have sex. <clears throat> that's the activist mommy weighing in on Teen Vogue. Now, after she uh, gave her speech, her remarks... She took the copy of Teen Vogue and uh, she turned around and behind the activist mommy was a raging bonfire. And she tossed the magazine into the bonfire. There's a report that at least one supermarket, the manager of the supermarket chain, found out what was inside the Teen Vogue magazines and actually had the magazines destroyed, pulled off the shelving. So in spite of all of this backlash, and you say, Todd, what backlash? That video, that, that the audio from that video you just heard has been seen over 9 million times. 9 million times on Facebook. So in spite of all the backlash, the folks over at Teen Vogue are defending the publication of this, this material, this sex tutorial. This is, this is from the digital editor at Teen Vogue, and he's, he's writing on Twitter here. The backlash to this article is rooted in homophobia. It's also laced in arcane delusion about what it means to be a young person today. Really, is that what young people are doing across the fruited plain? If that's the case, folks need to get back into church real quick, because there's some freaky stuff going on across the country. But I don't believe that's actually happening. I believe that Teen Vogue is trying to promote and encourage deviant behavior. And many others uh, have as well. Um, I'm reading from uh, the ToddSterns.com website to this story written by Joni Hannigan. And she quotes uh, Peter Sprigg from the, um, the, the Family Research Council. Mr. Sprigg says that it's shockingly irresponsible. And here's why. They had to go back and add a correction to the story because Teen Vogue did not initially encourage youngsters to practice safe sex. So they had to go back in and add that. Unbelievable. Mr. Sprigg says it is frankly disgusting that Teen Vogue would think this is an appropriate subject to discuss and actively promote with young people. He's right. So I have a question for you as, as a parent, as an American. Why is it that our, that our public schools and why is it that our magazines and uh, those that are in Hollywood, why is it they're trying to sexualize kids, little kids? Why are they trying to do that? And what would you do about Teen Vogue if you saw that garbage in your house? The number to call in, 888-788-9910. That's 888-788-9910. ToddStarns.com if you'd like to weigh in on Facebook or Twitter. We'll be back after the break. Ah, oh, jeez The uh, Chicago Tribune agrees with the people over at Teen Vogue, and they say your kid, your child, needs to know how to engage in sodomy. Do you agree with Teen Vogue? And the Chicago Tribune, 888-788-9910. That's 888-788-9910. Let's go to the newsmaker line. Elizabeth Johnston joins us. She is the activist mommy. And, uh, Elizabeth, you have really generated um, a, a national firestorm over this, uh, this controversy. Oh. Well, thank you, Todd, so much for having me on and for drawing attention to this. It's uh, very necessary. Well, let's uh, let's let's break this down uh, to when you discovered, when you found out what was in uh, Teen Vogue. What was your initial reaction? Because y you are a mom. Absolutely, I am a mom. I have ten children of my own, 
and some parents sent me this article, and I was outraged. <laughs> you know, all of us are trying to do our best to protect our children from immorality and over-sexualization in our culture, and to see this disturbing article where sodomy is being normalized, not discouraged, even though the CDC said that sodomy is the riskiest sexual behavior for getting and transmitting HIV for men and women, and Teen Vogue is marketed to little girls aged 12 to 17, I was outraged, and parents all over are outraged. That's why my video has uh, is about to hit 10 million views, and Teen Vogue should delete this piece of trash article and apologize for what they have done. Well, Elizabeth, they're not going to do that, uh, and we know from the, the magazine's digital editor, um, he basically said that, that kids, uh, modern kids, need to know how to, uh, to engage in these sorts of activities. And he said uh, that people who oppose uh, what the article was conveying, um, that, uh, that backlash is rooted in homophobia. So are you, are you, a, homopho- are you a homophobe, Elizabeth? <laughs> That's what they say when they can't actually um, take the argument, our arguments and, uh, and, and pull them apart because our arguments are on the side of truth, they then begin to accuse us of being hateful. No, we don't hate anyone. We love the children of this country, and we want to protect children. Jesus taught us to protect the children, and Jesus had very harsh words for people who would cause a child to stumble. And Teen Vogue has called many hundreds of thousands of children to stumble by their reckless article encouraging sodomy. Yeah, I'm uh, not too sure our Lord is uh, going to be uh, reading uh, Teen Vogue uh, magazine. Absolutely not. Um, uh, No, I'm not not we're, I'm not we're, inferring that. I'm just saying he uh, he he has an opinion on it. Uh, indeed, indeed, he does. Uh, we're speaking with Elizabeth Johnston, the activist mommy. Um, Elizabeth, your your video has gone viral. I, as you said, almost 10 million views. As you were uh, you were filmed burning the uh, a copy of the magazine with this offensive material <laughs> in there. Um, I want to I want to ask you uh, about something you told CBN News. Uh, you said that mm-hmm. the worst part about this is that you actually have adults peddling sex information to minors. That's right, Todd. If you were to text the content of this article to a 12-year-old girl, you, sir, would lose your job and probably be prosecuted. And that is what Philip Cardi, the digital editor of Teen Vogue did when they printed this article written by G.G. Engel. They, in essence, texted that message out to a ton of 12, 13, 14-year-old girls who are minors. And the law says that you cannot knowingly transfer obscene matter to a minor. Well, they certainly appeared to do that. Uh, I, you know, again, I've had a chance to read the article, and it's uh, it's just mind-boggling that this kind of material. Somebody thought it was a good idea at Teen Vogue to put this material out there. That's what t- to me I- is just shocking. So I want to ask you. I, I, we just have a few more moments uh, d- together, Elizabeth. Okay. You know, as a mom, and you said ten kids. Is that right? Ten kids. Yes, sir. <laughs> Woo, sweet mercy. So here you are as a mom, and I know that you want to, you know, pay attention to everything that that your kids are are watching or they're reading. You want to know what uh, what kind of information they're putting into their minds. Um, what concerns you as a parent about uh, about the message, not just in Teen Vogue, but the but this uh, mm. this sexualization of of American kids these days? Well, first of all, we should not be teaching children at all how to engage in sexual activity before marriage. A large majority of the population of parents uh, of of whom children are are being, you know, this magazine is being marketed to, believe that it's wrong to have sex before marriage. And Gigi, in her article, said, quote, there is no wrong way to experience sexuality and no way is better than any other, end quote. This is what they are peddling to our children. There are wrong ways to experience sexuality, and there are dangerous ways to experience sexuality. And and the CDC has said that the vast majority of men who get HIV get it through engaging in sodomy, which Gigi Engel just encouraged teenagers to do. 
Well, it's um, uh, again, it is it's it's beyond troubling. And as you said, uh, you have adults here that are forcing some sort of an agenda on mm -hmm. children and it goes you know and, and it went far beyond that uh, into issues like gender fluidity and um, you know encouraging children to to question their their gender and their identity and things yeah. of, of that nature it was just you're sitting there and I'll, I'll be honest with you I, I I've I've seen a lot of this stuff come across our desk uh, here at Fox News and this was a jaw-dropper oh I mean um, this was so morally degenerate that most of us who have a conscience reading this article could not even barely get through the article. It was that perverse. And I am asking um, parents uh, all over. I'm about to do a, a big interview uh, in, in the U.K. This, is, this story is going worldwide. I'm asking parents all over the world to go to my Activist Mommy page. My video is pinned to the top of the page. It's the first thing you'll see. Click share on that. Go to your local grocery stores, bookstores, gas stations, libraries. See if they carry it. If they do, go up and kindly ask the manager or the owner to never carry Teen Vogue again because this is not the only time this has happened. The more I have researched, I have found fr other frightening things in Teen Vogue. Uh, this, this is a perverse obscenity that they are pushing upon our children. And call the Department of Justice and explain that Teen Vogue is pandering obscenity to minors and ask them to take action. And you also have a, a hashtag that uh, folks are using, a hashtag pull Teen Vogue. Is that right? Yes. Yes, sir. Right. The hashtag has been trending, thankfully. And if I can just uh, read one thing real quick to you that a, a father sent to us. Real quick, said, real quick. I, I went into my local Kroger, grabbed all nine magazines on the rack. I walked right up to the manager and asked him if he'd allow his kids to read this. No joke, folks. He literally ripped them up in front of me and told his loss prevention team to write them off as stolen. I'm now shopping there for the rest of my life. <laughs> Unbelievable. Unbelievable. All right, uh, Elizabeth Johnston, the activist mommy, thank you so much for um, for alerting us to, to this. And uh, we're going to uh, we're going to get the word out. So, Elizabeth, thank you uh, again. And, uh, folks, we're going to post a link to Elizabeth's website on ToddStarns.com.